I think you're going to be surprised how quickly we can do this in AI. Now, this rebuilding of a graphic all stemmed from a Facebook post from Sam Woodhall, who posted that he wanted to recreate the graphics like you see in motion. And they are actually, if we look at just Wikipedia, they are complete graphs. And what is a complete graph? Well, a complete graph is where the vertices are connected to each one of the other of them, if you understand that. Now, I didn't, I didn't know that, so every day is a school day. But to draw it in motion, you could use replicators and twist it. It all gets a bit complicated joining it up. I want to do it, and I want to do it fast, and that's where AI comes in. And here we are in Claude, uh, one of my favorite AIs for a few reasons, which I'll show you in a while. But let's get the prompt going. First thing we'll do is we shall connect the example to there and that uploads and let's just have a quick look at the prompt please look at the graphic i want to build the six people example as an svg file please can you replicate it exactly with the same amount of vertices and connections orientate the hexagon the same way fit the graph and text underneath into a 19 by 20 by 1080 16 by 9 frame okay you might ask why i specified a resolution uh, when you've got svgs which is scalable vector graphics and that's because I want to keep the 16 by 9 aspect ratio all through the apps to end up in a 16 by 9 Final Cut Pro um, project. OK, so it's thinking about it. One of the things I like about Claude is you get the preview window writing the code. And then at the end, you should actually get the SVG file displayed in that window. So if you can see there's a problem, you can go and it looks like we are missing a connection there, aren't we? We are actually missing a connection. So we go, great, but you've missed a connection. And AI has the habit of doing this. Just sometimes it will just forget things or uh, just do things that are completely random. So let's give it another go. Um, connections 15 in total. OK. Vertices 6 in total. Yeah, there we go. Let's just bring that. And that's exactly what we want. Right, same amount of vertices, same amount of connections. OK, it took two goes. Previous times where I've tried things like this, you can do it in one, but it's all dependent on the prompt. You need to get the prompt right. So let's just copy that. Now we're going to the unsung hero of AI, which is text edit. So I'm going to go there and paste that into text edit. One thing I need to do before I go any further is to make that um, plain text and then save. So I'm going to go save, and we're going to call it six people connection. Six people connection. That should look when I'm typing. You probably might be able to hear the rain outside. It's been snow and rain here today. And then I'm also going to go .svg. Now, because the SVG file extensions should stick, if I give it a prompt, yes, use SVG. And that should be saved. Now, if we go back to look at Finder, it should actually show that in the Finder, which it does. OK, next step, and this is the, exactly the same thing as we did building the American flag, is I'm going to open that with Pixelmator Pro. And as you can see, we've got that there. That's not too bad. What I might do is I might just increase the size of the actual graphic itself. So if I go to the group, and we go um, image and we go transform, get the box, click that bit bigger, move that into the center. And then we're going to go file, save, six people connection. Now it's going to be the same one, save, replace. So here's where the magic comes. We go file, export. Let's call it six people connection, slightly different file name. And we're going to make a motion project, 25 frames a second, because I live in the UK. And it's going to be 10 seconds. And here at the bottom, you can see it's going to be 1920 by 1080. So we keep the, the, the correct frame size and hit export. Now, if we go back to Finder and look in our folder, we have a folder with a motion project on it. We can't take that straight into Final Cut. We need to open it. So quick open with motion. And yeah, and you can see I haven't updated yet. And there we have our graphic. 
and we've got the background as well. And it's interesting, sometimes Claude generates the background, sometimes it doesn't. Okay, let's just turn off the overlay so you can see it properly. Now, to get it into Final Cut, we need to make it into a title or a generator. So go File, Convert Project to Title. Uh, no title source, that's not taking uh, any video from the Final Cut timeline and overlaying it. Hit Convert, and I'll go File, Save, and we're gonna go six people, oh, I keep doing that, don't I? Six people connections, and we're gonna put it in development and hit publish. That's all there is to it. And now if we go and look at Final Cut, and we go and look at the titles, we should see it in development, six people connections, hit E, and there to get it on the timeline, and there we have our graphic. Now, because it's in motion, if we go back to the original motion project, we've still got access to um, all the groups where we've got the paths, the text, everything. So if you want to make these lines a bit bigger or a different color, it's really easy to do. You can just go and go, right, I want to make them blue, brown, bit hard to see, okay, a uh, bit hard to see, so we're gonna make those a bit bigger, geometry, style, let's make that um, 10, make it huge. There we go, make it blue, so that's the, make it blue, you can do whatever you want on there. So that's one really good way to use Claude to rebuild some graphics for you, save you a lot of time and make things a lot sharper. Um, I did do a few experiments when I increased the nose and it worked, but you have to just be a bit careful with the prompts because sometimes AI just goes, well, I'm not gonna connect any of them or give you something completely random but great for rebuilding stuff. I've even used a pencil sketch of a house and a car and said, improve this, make it so that I can drop it into a PowerPoint presentation. And it drew it in a cartoon style uh, SVG file, again, that you can scale. So for me, this is really, really helpful because we always get clients saying, I want this or want that. Um, not, you've got to be a bit careful with copyright maybe, but you can do this really quickly and get some very sharp looking graphics uh, without spending a lot of time. And that's what it's all about. So I hope you've enjoyed this one. A lot more to come. We're gonna revisit the LUTs as well because there was a lot of hate about that for some reason, but it, the stuff's here to stay. We can't turn back time and there's even more you can do and I'll show you that in a new video. So thanks very much for watching, bye-bye.